Hi Felters and welcome. It is April and it's the, oh my god, it's the 6th already. And I kind of put the vlog up for last month on about the 2nd. So I edit it and then, and I kind of, that's done. And then I forget that I've got to start recording straight away for the next one. So what have I done so far? Um, I just did a little one of these for um, a craft fair. Um, I am doing those as a PDF, so I've sort of got everything laid out. I kind of took a few photos and then got bored. So I've got to do that as a PDF at some point. And then I did uh, this little one, which is a, well, hopefully you can tell it's a Herdwick sheet. Um, and I'm sort of practicing for um, an online course. So I've just got to sort of blend the collar, the whiteness of the collar in a bit more, I think. And I'm going to change the horns slightly. See how I've got the stripes going down. I wanted them going across, but it was just really impossible to get. But I'll do them with a different technique and I might even paint the horns. But quite like the feet. But yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. Um, I really like him. I do these things and I think, oh, I don't want to sell that. So, but that's what I do. I make things to sell. Um... So Claire's Crafts Creates, uh, Lulu and Daisy have taken over and for the month of um, April, it will have passed by now, but you will have seen the video. Um, any kits that Claire designed, they're going to donate half of it to, I think it's Macmillan Cancer. So I bought the um, Tiger one. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I have never done any uh, flat felting, any pictures. I don't consider myself that good art at all so that's why I sort of steer clear of it but I'm going to try this I'm going to do this video up for next week and talk about it and promote it so that maybe other people might go on Claire's Cross Creates and maybe purchase a kit and this was only about £20 and it looks absolutely stunning I hope I can do it justice I don't think it will be quite like that but I'll give it a go and that's the dogs I think we're okay right so that's it for now I plan to do the PDF for that Highland cow and work on doing uh, another Herdwick slightly better, probably filming it for the course. But I want to do lots of other sheep right now. I feel really sheepy. But anyway, I'll get on with it. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I am going to the Spring into Wool uh, Festival on Saturday. So that is coming up. So I'm looking forward to that and I'll be videoing that. And that'll be just something different for my channel and for me because I love going to things like that. So... Right, let's get on with it. This is um, a little sheep that I have designed. It's like a little herdwick. It's supposed to be a sitting down one. And um, it just looks like a really odd shaped sheep. <laughs> I mean, the face is quite sweet and all of that. It's not a problem. The hooves are the wrong color. It just, it doesn't look right. I mean, someone might buy him. Oh yeah, and then I did a tail. So kind of looks like a rabbit. I don't know. It just all looks a bit funny. Before we go to any felting, one other thing I forgot to say is I finally, after two years, got myself a website. I've done it through Squarespace. I don't know if it's the most financially, um, if it's the best one financially. It probably isn't, but I do like the look of it. My husband's got his stuff through it so he could help me with it. So that was really good. Um, it took me a while to understand the formatting, how to edit the photos, how to load them so that it looks good for laptop and mobile. These things take time and as one of my patrons said, Mrs. Cute Felt, she said just just get it up, just do it and then it's done and then in a couple of months time you can go through and refine it and make it better. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, just get it up there. So that's what I've done. I've got ideas of how to refine it and add more pages but if you're interested in sort of setting up your own website it's good to have a look at other people so mine will be linked in the description below so do go and have a look through. Okay, so it's the 7th and this kit arrived. You will have seen the video by now. But, um, yeah, it's, oh, let's just put this in this little box. And it's a beautiful picture. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it justice, but um, I'm pleased that I'm doing it and I'm giving it a go. Uh, it's really funny because the kit arrived and it says, oh, you should use star needles because uh, they're much better. And I kind of ignored that completely, used every single needle I had and then tried, because you know I don't like the star needles that much, and then tried the star needle and I was like, oh yeah, it works so much better. <laughs> so the thing is as well that I didn't realise is that they say the star needle, I'm not going to be able to show you on this, 
the um the notches in the star needle are right down the end they're a lot further down the end so if you were to look at the spiral notches they go up to here whereas the notches there's not much difference but the notches are more concentrated down the bottom which is why it works quite hard and it's better because you're not supposed to I mean you can't overly felt this anyway because you've got that underneath which is not very thick um so it's sort of shallow felting and I'm sort of going over it it's um I mean you get some pictures um but you're kind of not making it up but you're kind of just trying to follow the look and then you've got all these colors to play with so it's really good so um yeah I'm just going along and trying this out and seeing what I think of it I don't think my felts are going to change overnight and I'm going to suddenly do 2D. You're all safe there, but um, oh, I can't really show you. But not too bad. I've got to do some shading to make it look a lot, lot better. I might have to ask my daughter on some shading tips because she's so good. So let's carry on with this. So he's all finished and I'm super pleased. Um, and I've just done some editing for the video this morning. I'm getting ready for the wool festival I'm going to tomorrow. So I'm going to use my, this is the little Insta360 that I got for the dog channel. And it's really cool because it's quite unobtrusive and you just literally have that. You have this disc around your neck um, and underneath your garment and then that sits on the top. And then you just tap it and people don't really know you're videoing. So, that. so this was the wool from the threshing barn. It was sort of a range of colours and when you pull it apart, it's really lovely really beautiful and so I'm trying to make the most of it so I made this chap here which I'm really pleased with and then I made this one here so I took out the Highlandy colour colours of it um, and then I'm just going to make a Highland cow head which is like I think I've got enough for it I should have which is the one off my um, Highland cow course so like this chat but a bit smaller and I've just um, rearranged my shelves I've got them all in a row I think they look really sweet but yes yeah, so I've counted up and I have um, how many so this is all my patreon stuff I've put that all together so I've counted up and I have in total about 35 decent items for my craft fair so I'm I'm, I'm happy and I've got another month and a half so I'm really pleased so I'll just keep going and um, I'll make this one just to show you um, I spend absolute ages neatening the horns for these um, cows and I really do think it makes a difference and you take a, a 40 needle and go all the way over and you can see I've done the right hand side there and it looks so smooth and beautiful. I think it makes a difference anyway so I think it's worth doing. So I created that Highland cow which I showed you and that Highland cow which I was very pleased with and then just to let you know I do create things that are a bit funny. I created this guy. He just looks weird. I don't know. I will take him, as I said, to my craft fair along with my really odd sheep. <laughs> God, I'm going to have to have an odd corner. Sorry, my son is hoovering. But he just looks a bit wrong. I know what it is. I think this bit under here is too long. Oh, anyway, right. It's the 14th and my in-laws are arriving for the weekend. We are cleaning already. Um, so I won't be able to do any felting over the weekend. So I shall see you in probably about four or five days. Okay. Okay. So I've made him a bit better. If you, can you spot the differences? I don't know. The nostrils were too high. They went right to the top, looked really weird. I've trimmed that down a bit, made the horns go a little bit wider. And sorry about the shadows. And he doesn't look as bad. He's different, very unique. But anyway, a bit better, much happier. This is um, just to show you, we went to visit Chatsworth House with my in-laws. It's one of the biggest um, historic houses in the UK. So... Um, I filmed it and it's absolutely stunning, so I hope you enjoy it. If not, just forwards this a couple of minutes.
So here we are. These are the lovely cards that I purchased. You know me. Anything to do with sheep or cows. But they are really good references for when you're felting. Um, things to note like how small are Herdwick eyes? You know, they're absolutely tiny. So I think they're really good just to have around when you're felting. And we got the Chatsworth guidebook. I don't normally buy a visitor's guidebook, but £6. It's a massive, great book. It's got lots of stuff in it, so... I think it I think it's good. The gardens really were lovely, definitely worth going to visit again. Okay, it is the 19th and I made this little bunny using all of that multicolored funny fur. He's a horrible bunny, but he's a bunny and he's done and I've used it up. I'm just sitting here, goodness knows why, I felt like doing my tax. So I've got my receipts lined up and I've added everything up. So I've added up all of the money that I earned last year. Sorry, I've got no makeup on. I'm a bit spotty. Um, and I earned tax year last year just under £17,000, which is a lot of money. And it's it's a full time wage earning, let alone because it actually is a part time job for me. But I'm not like telling you to go, oh, wow, I earned so much. I'm telling you because it's possible to do this, to have um, a job from home, create a job where it's a craft as well and bring in enough money to really contribute to the household and work it around the children and around whatever commitments you've got. So obviously I've got a lot of costs. I'm going to work them out next. I'll let you know the costs roughly. I, I think the costs will be at least 5,000. I don't know, not sure, but it's possible to do this. It really, really is. So it is the 20th. I'm still in the middle of my tax, but I got up this morning full of energy and basically put on all my makeup, got ready, and I've just done the intro and the outro for five videos. It's called batching. And I just think my videos are more professional if I do an intro bit where I talk and then an outro is really good when you put all the linkings in and you get people to know about more videos that you might have done. So I've just done all of that. And yeah, it's really, sometimes it goes smoothly and you can talk and sometimes you cannot get the words out. So I realised I didn't update you on the costs. Costs were just under £4,000. So things like post office is about 500, World of Wool 500. Um, my website, Etsy, I spent about 400, Amazon 500 for these little extra bits and bobs. So you can see how it adds up. So overall, I earned um, just over 12,000. So it's about a thousand a month. So um, really, really fantastic. I'm just going to be doing, I'll just show you what I'm going to be doing now. So I'm going to do a video on the cheapest way to start to learn to felt. And I've got these um, carded wool slither selection from Heidi Feathers. I've got some needles. So I'm trying to start, you know, good quality wool, good quality needles for as little as possible. Or I'm going to show people you can buy a very cheap kit. So I'm just going to make that video up today. And I'm just sort of looking at these colours and trying to decide... Um, I can make a couple of things and, you know, I can sell them at the craft fair as well, hopefully. So two birds with one stone. Just sitting here um, felting this little pink number, going to use Duckle Daisy. Can't really see the colours there. There you go, Duckle Daisy. Um, but this has arrived from, I purchased something from one of my patrons. So I'm just going to open it now. It's beautifully wrapped. It's got a little thank you card with it. Let's try and open this up. There we go he's joined the little patreon family up there he is so cute and i love his feet and his feathers they're just gorgeous he is beautiful thank you so much ganita
it's the 24th and we popped to Glossop yesterday which is a place in the Peak District to go they've got a nice M&S food hall not because we're posh but because they do really good gluten-free food for my son so he can have like um, pastries and stuff that we can't get anywhere else so we popped there yesterday and there was a little craft shop and I found some wool so look at these colours they are so beautiful so I'm going to do um, a sheep in these colours I think so it's Hayfield Spirit and they had some blue tones and they had some purple tones and I really really tried not to spend any more money so I only bought three um, I've bought a little timer I'm going to do a video on um, pricing up your items correctly and it's also to test me so um, when I make this sheep I'm going to time myself with the timer because I can't do it on my phone because normally um, I'm using my phone to video stuff so this is really good it's just a little start um, and then so every time I sit down and I think it's quite a good thing anyway it was it was about four pounds on Amazon but I just think you really need to know how much time you spend on things and these three little owls that I did for that video I was just talking about for how to start needle felting cheaply when I had a zoom felt along with my patrons um, Belle, one of my patrons, kindly said, why don't you stick them on a piece of driftwood? They'd look really good. And you know what? She's quite right. So I had, um, I've got lots of driftwood in there from um, Zoe Robson Fleece for You. So um, that's what I'm going to do with these. So there they are all on and um, yeah, I've just used uh, Bostic all-purpose glue and it's got to set a bit more, a little bit of the glue spilt, they're not that stable yet, down the back. But you know, honestly, I'm not going to sell this for more than a tenner. It's just to make a little bit of money back. This is not like my finest work, but it's cute enough to put on my craft table. And you may remember this sheep. Um, he's got his gray feet and they just look a bit funny and again I showed him on Patreon and um, we, we just sort of you know help each other out with with problems sometimes they're not to do with felting as well so it's just really lovely but yeah this someone said yeah try white I think it would work because I thought it would look funny and you know what I'm going to do them all white I think that would look much much better actually just to show you this has arrived I ordered it it's going to be in one of my videos coming up anyway with all my craft display stuff but um, it's to scan your phone, so I'll have it on my craft fairs. But uh, shout out Vistaprint. They are doing uh, Stand With Ukraine stickers for free, so you can uh, put them wherever you want to put them. But yeah, that's really, really good. But So I'm going to test it out with my phone in a minute, but I'm videoing with my phone, so I can't test it out right now. I'm sure it'll work. Luckily, it does work, so that's really good. Um, thank you, Canva. I designed it on Canva. Uh, printed it on Vistaprint and I think it was only about 35 but it's good because it makes me feel a little bit more up to date and it actually links to my website which I have now so it's really good really pleased made this little lady with those those wool colors that you saw and I've got lots more planned for the wool colors too so these have just arrived from world of wool these are prizes for my patreon uh, we do little challenges oh look that's really nice they are that is the green envy collection and the moody blues so they're gonna um enter and then i pick names out of a hat and um gosh look at that look at that color that's really nice it's the new one with the mottling um and i pick names out of a hat and i post the um winners little prizes out so they're so nice i might have to buy one for myself And I finally managed to do 
my PDF for these guys, which I've put on, and they do look really sweet. So I'm really happy I finally managed to get the PDF all done and I've put it on Etsy. So it's the 30th today, the Saturday, and I'm not going to be finishing any more felting. I'm going to be doing a sheep out of this lovely dry stone wall colour that I got when I went to that fair. Um, so I definitely won't finish it today, but I hope this is what you're looking for in a vlog. Um, I try to show the good and the bad of running a business, but most of all, I just want to show that it's possible to do it. I have my one year anniversary with Patreon tomorrow, so time has flown. If you think this business has been running for two years, so yeah, it's really flown by. The next thing I sort of want to design, because I obviously do cows, sheep and horses, and you must be getting fed up of seeing Highland cows. But um, I think hares, really want to go down the hares line. There's a lot out there, but I want to try and sort of design some unique hares maybe for the future. I hope you've enjoyed this. Put a thumbs up if you have, and we'll see you again next month and take care everybody. Thanks for watching.